Day not like, day not like, day not like. What, man? Hold on, I've been listening to nothing but GNX the last couple days. You know what I mean? Huh? I'm going to have, you know, we're going to keep reacting to that. We're going to have live streams of it. But Lil Wayne finally responded, well, immediately, responded to Kendrick Lamar talking about him on his new album. Even though I don't really quite take it like he, I don't take it as a full diss. I definitely take it as a, man, back up off me. But let's see. YouTube. Chicks. Yeah. Shout out to you know Chick Smooth. Smooth. Chick's the hey, one who put this together. Shout out to his channel. Doing. I've been watching your shit for a while. We gonna talk I... about this because I made a tweet about this that went like viral, viral. I'm talking about like almost like three million views type stuff. See your shit too, bro. We gonna we gonna oh, break man. this down, bro. Action, and got. remember, I these two are two of my goats, right? So I'm not I'm not here to slander Wayne. I'm just here to tell the truth. You know what I mean? A lot of people are are destroying Wayne right now. As and I'm gonna no just say it the real way. You know what I mean? With Kendrick Lamar calling him out on his record yesterday. By now, you guys should all know that Kendrick Lamar dropped a surprise album yesterday called Rocked Out Murals. Kendrick man. wastes no time. They try to gets to the shits on the first record of the song. It's called Whacked Out Murals. The song is basically Kendrick calling out some OGs in a game for moving foul. Now, wow. whether or not you guys agree I really, with it, I love that's up that. to you. But this is Kendrick's way of letting people know that he sees the fuck shit and he's not letting it go he mm. called out Lil Wayne for constantly crying for not being selected to perform at the Super Bowl Wayne has expressed being disappointed that he wasn't chosen about three times now so much so that even Wayne fans are telling him bro chill this moment is not about you like go relax somewhere else Yo, uh, I, I'm gonna I'm I'm speak I, I, let me say before he even says it I if y'all I mean if you know me if you watch my channel I was about to say, I, I used to have a Lil Wayne poster on my wall. Lil Wayne, I have a Lil Wayne shirt. Lil Wayne has always been one of my favorite rappers, like, since I've been doing reactions. Like, I mean, before that, but I mean, since y'all have ever heard of me, most of y'all, Wayne has been one of my favorite rappers. And I'm going to tell you right now, the last month has been nasty work, bro. We're going to talk about what he tweeted and my viral tweet and I, I think why I went viral. Um, but... Nasty, nasty work, nasty work, bro. Verse. And there are too many niggas that I know more verses word for word from than Wayne. And I'm gonna tell you right now, nasty. Turning to, to um, this was and, nasty. And held me up when, when I try to fall back. Um, that hurt. Hurt a lot. You know what I'm talking about? It hurt a whole lot. Um, I blame myself for not being mentally prepared for a letdown. That's another thing that I, I absolutely, I'm, tr I'm, gonna keep, I'm trying to keep this as res respectful as possible because a lot of people are just disrespecting Wayne right now. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna say it like this, right? When he said, I'm gonna blame myself, you know, I was like, okay, so he gonna, he gonna take accountability. Like maybe I didn't work hard enough this year. Maybe I didn't, put in the 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 effort I needed to maybe maybe I am farther I mean farther from um in the eyes of people my prime than I thought I was maybe there's more work to be done when he turned it around and said I blame myself for not being prepared to not get it by the way link is in the pinned comment go grab your hip hop is a sport t-shirts or hoodies you know, go grab you. They not like us. T uh, hip hop is a sport. T shirts. Link is in the pin comment from the village. Us. It's just like Wayne is. It's something that you know. Maybe I'm shooting him bail here, but it's just something that, to be honest, you got to remember Wayne is a child star. Like Wayne is on some Danny Bonaduce, uh, uh, like most child stars. You know how child star. It's a little bit of entitlement right here with it being in New Orleans. I, I, I just wish he would have just not done this, honestly. Honestly. Especially when Louisiana Fest, to me, was like the Super Bowl when the Hot, uh, the hot Boys got back together. Like, what are we doing? And I'm sure just automatically mentally putting myself in that position like somebody told me that was my position. Nah, uh, I respect that part because that is true. 
I why did I mentally put myself in that position like somebody told me it was a truth? But then the the part before it was weird, and I wish he if he would have just left it right here would not have been bad. But it just kept. I blame myself for that, but. I thought that was nothing, you know, I thought that was nothing better than that, that, that spot and that stage and that platform in my city. And I get it, it's your and, city, um, but like, so it hurt. tune, man. And a whole lot. Um, but y'all, y'all are fucking amazing. It made me feel like shit not getting this, this opportunity. And when I felt like shit, you guys reminded me that I ain't shit without y'all. And, and that's an amazing reality. So, like I said, it broke me. And I'm just trying to put me back together. But my God, have you all helped me. Thanks to all my peers, my friends, my family. Just my homies on sports television, everybody repping me. I really appreciate that. I really do. I feel like I let all of y'all down by not getting that opportunity. But I'm working on me, and I'm working. So thank you. There's been a couple. I also think what, cause that that message was kind of a little bit of everywhere. I also think had Wayne took more time to fully process his emotions and think about it, it maybe would have came off better. But no, nah, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm lying because then he went on Louisiana Fest and basically did the same thing and had plenty of time to think about it. I really think Wayne is so in the wrong here and is coming off like, I get the anger, I get the obsession, but he's coming off like a hater and I don't understand I don't get this. Like I don't I don't get this from Wayne. Like I, I respect him for being vulnerable, but it's like this seems like one of those moments where it's like, Wayne, man, maybe maybe you are a little too unattached culturally. Cause some the, the Wayne's biggest mix steps of his entire career has all been because he is there is this disconnect that he has with just everything. And sometimes he jumps out and says something like he only got half of the message, did no research and just said it with the racism don't exist, with the da 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 da, -da. That stuff is just like he he is one of the most brilliant pens that have ever touched the game. He one of the greatest rappers ever. I get goosebumps on goosebumps when this man raps, bro. One of the greatest punchline rappers to ever, but the nigga needs to start paying me. He just is not, sometimes feels culturally unattached. And I don't mean just the hip hop. I mean like everything that's going on in the world. And it's like a joke that people would be like, oh, Lil Wayne just realized there's a beef going on. But at a certain point, especially when you become an elder statesman, it, it's better that you're tapped in to a point or you understand what's going on so you don't keep coming out and saying and doing stuff that makes people look at you crazy. Because right now, I've never seen so much Lil Wayne slander in my life than what's going on right now. And he kind of brought it on himself a little bit. You know what I mean? And I only want to say a little bit. And I also think, you know, certain people use that opportunity and use Wayne as a weapon to attack Kendrick just because of the Drake thing. And I think, like I said, a lot of people don't care about Wayne. That's the thing that hurts me the most. Even after the young thug shooting up his bus. Uh, I've learned people don't care about Wayne, but I think Wayne thinks a lot of the people around him, I feel like he's getting bad information. But yeah, bro, you're, you're, you're coming off like an entitled child star who's not used to getting no. Which I know it's not, that's not the truth, but you're just coming A couple other that. Super Bowl that's actually Which could happened be in Louisiana... And you have not made a peep about it. Exactly. Go chill and relax. This is Kendrick's moment. Exactly. Now, on the record, the first out murals, Kendrick said, yo, I used to bump the Carter 3. I held my rolly chain proud. Irony. I think my hard work let Lil Wayne down. Got the... One thing I wish um, Kendrick would have said, but this is just the rapper in me. I wish he would have said, irony, my dedication let Wayne down. Because then the dedication, Wayne, I feel like that that would have been a mean punch. But th this was this was just his emotions I was feeling, which is why you know this line in itself isn't quite is not a diss. 
Now, I will say certain other things like walking through New Orleans screaming mustard. I know it's a super, but it's kind of like puffing your chest a little bit. And some of the other stuff he said about old heads using the same flow. He was kind of... Da, 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 da. Shoot, but I get it, bro. This was like some... And he said, yeah. Work let Lil Wayne down. Got the Super Bowl and Nas the only one congratulated me. Nasty. All these niggas agitated. I'm just glad it's on their faces. And usually when people are hating on a nigga this much, they at least try to tuck it. But like, the the cash money, young money hate for... It, it, I get with the Drake thing, but like, damn, bro. Damn. Now, some of you guys said yesterday, Chigs, this wasn't a diss. Stop reaching. Oh, my gosh, Chigs. Kendrick is just talking about how much he's disappointed in Wayne. Chigs, it's not a diss, please. Well, the funny thing about putting somebody's name in your record is that if you're not bigging them up on the record, you're putting their name in there to take a shot at them. No matter how you guys felt about Facts. that bar. Like I said, that bar in itself is not quite like a diss but in with the context of whacked out murals with the context of the song with the context of everything else he said it was definitely like motherfucker. he was definitely coming up to me like this is what my metaphor of what it was it was like he came up to one he's like bro that really disappointed me the way he was acting that's messed up and then he clocked him in the mouth that's what it was <laughs> Both things can be true. This was definitely a slight and a shot at Wayne. And Wayne even felt some kind of way about it Facts. because he just responded to Kendrick Lamar. Now Lil Wayne went on Twitter. He said, man, what the F did I do? I just be chilling and they still come from my head. Let's not take kindness for weakness. Let this giant sleep. I beg you all. Now this is where Wayne starts talking heavy to Kendrick Lamar. No one really wants destruction, not even me, but I shall destroy if disturb on me, love. Listen. Let me break this down and let me tell y'all how my tweet was, right? So I tweeted to Lil Wayne. I might just read the tweet. Um, I tweeted to Lil Wayne because, and I wanted, I'm not thinking Wayne's going to read it. I just wanted to be, um, you know, break it down in a way that I, okay. So this is what I said. Stick around. I said to this quote, and I'm taking Wayne serious like he doesn't know what happened, which, come on, bro. Okay, I said, you one of my goats, Wayne. Let, so let me try to explain this a bit nicer and a bit more concise than others are. The song, I'm not going to read it. I'm, you, you can go check my Twitter, at Screwface John, and I'm going to tell you what I said. I'm going to summarize it. The song Whacked Out Murals is a metaphor, right? Because Kendrick Lamar had a mural in Cali to celebrate, you know, everything he's done for the West, everything he's done for the culture, everything he's done for hip hop, everything he's done in general, right? This is everybody was congrat while everybody was congratulating him and celebrating the moment, some hating, some legendary first string all American hater went and probably in the dead of night and crossed it out. Now, most likely because that person couldn't stand how much love Kendrick was getting at the time. Most likely because he didn't, he's such a hater, like I said. Now, and obviously, probably so he could tell his closest people, you know, that was me, right? And make the moment about him. And a lot of people are missing that metaphor and whacked out murals. According, in Kendrick's eyes and a lot of people's eyes, that's what you did. That's what Wayne did and a lot of people did to Kendrick. With this Super Bowl announcement, as soon as it was celebrate, uh, 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 announced, he is the first solo hip-hop artist, right, to take that stage. So it is a big moment for the culture, period, right? So when you don't come out, when the thing you come out and say is... Man, I feel like they took it from me in a sense. Like, you essentially whacked out his mural. You understand? That's what happened. And that's what I basically tweeted. And let me tell you what the tweet is at right now. 4.2 million views, 53,000 favorites, and 6.6 thousand retweets. Um, so you got to understand, yeah, that's some hating. Sh and, and people aren't going to take it. Now, You he did beef with Drake. And I and, and whatever, whatever. But I will say, you were never gonna win with this angle. If you really do hate Kendrick and you're not happy with what's going on, I can understand it. Just don't say nothing then. There's something with like young money. Y'all need y'all need like to get y'all PRs together and start figuring this out because this is 
Crazy. And now let me talk about, so I fully understand what Kendrick said and I agree with him and he did it in a metaphorical way. Yeah, you try to whack out his mural, bro. This moment is bigger than 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 you right now, Wayne. You're one of the greatest rappers ever. My one of the ghosts, one of the most important people that ever touched this culture. But that particular moment, come on, bro. You gotta congratulate or, or don't hate, congratulate or don't say nothing. You know. Now, the battle rap side of me, the analyst side of me, the rapper side of me. When Wayne starts talking about this, no one wants destruction. Not even me whatever talk basically threaten telling kendrick yo we can we can handle this i'll kill you in a battle this is what i'm gonna tell you right now i keep saying this wayne's one of my favorite rappers but wayne is not a battle rapper wayne has said himself he's not a battle rapper um i, I can't be the first to say that it can't be done by me uh, i don't know how to battle rap i don't know how to, that's what people for instance you don't see me this i don't diss people i don't really know how to do that i'm not a battle rapper Wayne has never been that. That's it. People fail to realize and think that if you rap good, that automatically means you could battle rap. Those are two completely different skills. Completely different skill sets. That's why it's not even always the best rapper who wins the battle. And just from now, I'd like to see it go ahead. You know what I mean? Go ahead. But just my like breaking it down like sports analysts, if I can get my uh uh, uh my, my 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 little my my fan my fan of sharp, oh to oh to. Oh, Tom, if I get my little Shannon Sharp breakdown about this battle, Lil Wayne has had beef with Gilly the Kid and Pusha T, right? He's taken a little stray shot to uh, uh, 50 Cent and Jay-Z. And of all four of those, I could not confidently tell you he's won any one of them. Um, all he said to Gilly was, Gilly, you really don't want to F with me. The gun to go murk in the per He said that. Then he said, and I don't have time to deal with Lily the Squid. Those are the only thing. If you listen to Frontin' Like My Daddy, uh, uh, what, Dan Michael Dwayne Carter, you, uh, you kissing on whatever, what you, Birdman's daughter? Gilly destroyed him. Pusha T, ghoulish, um, uh, F Pusha T and everybody love him, uh, talking out his ass, such a headbutt him. That's all he gave him. That wasn't enough. And then, you know, we you signed to a nigga that signed to a nigga, killed him, right? Um, he said the thing, lady, but uh, uh, baby money, uh, kidnap your bitch for how much you love your lady's money. He was talking to Jay-Z, dissing Beyonce. Then Jay-Z in one lyric said, baby money? You niggas ain't even got my lady's money destroyed. Um, and then he said he put syrup in 50 cents vitamin water. So as a battle rapper, I've never seen Wayne win a battle. What Wayne usually does is not engage or he'll give you one pretty mediocre shot and then walk off. And then the, the, the next round, he gets annihilated because I've never seen him in a full battle. Now, like I say, he my ghost, so maybe he's been in the dungeon. You know what I mean? But as of right now, bro, clearly Kendrick Lamar is built and bred for battle rap. Clearly. And it just doesn't seem like that's one of your skills. And it doesn't have to be for you to be the greatest rapper. It doesn't. But I just don't think it's going to be a great look. And I don't want everybody to turn on Wayne like they turned on Drake. Because I sense that... Kendrick's the type of person that when he battles you, you don't just lose a battle, nigga. You kind of lose your footing a little bit in the culture. So, but hey, you know me, I'm the I'm the battle nigga. So if it happens, I'm gonna be here to cover all of it. I'm gonna call it down the middle because I love both of them. But the man, you I feel like leave it alone, bro. From Wayne. Now keep in mind, I respect Wayne is the, somewhere the, out the way currently the, co the competition aspect of it, but like Wayne, you literally have said you don't matter. Carter Six right what? now. So for Wayne to take time and address Kendrick Lamar, this means he's not playing with him no more. And I would not be surprised if Wayne does this Kendrick on the record. About to leave Hawaii. I've been here for a few days ever since the Louisiana Fest. So reflecting, I came straight here after the fest. Mm. Work on some Hard work. So I want to say thanks to the wife. He definitely going to take a shot of Kendrick. Look for these beautiful people surfing. But thanks to my city. Thanks to New Orleans, Lil Louisiana. Low key though, I also think Wayne is going to get help. Not like with a pen, but like strategically. Because Young Money cannot afford an, another Drake event. <laughs> like a Thanos event. <laughs> another Kendrick uh, there, he's. I think he's gonna be coached a little bit. Like, yo, this is where Drake messed up. Don't do this. Do that. Now, will he listen? I don't know. But Man. will he be able to execute? I don't know. But if he do, I will say, like, dang, can Kendrick get a, a bye week, nigga? <laughs> God damn. From from the one to the other, give him a blunt. Get a bye week, nigga. This was amazing. Thanks to everyone who was involved. 
involved. All the artists. But it's Young Toon, Gorilla Monsoon. DJs, was involved. DJ Rush moved everybody. Wow, man, everybody. Thanks to the mayor. And, and I can't wait for Carter Six. Six. Uh, 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 boys, the big timers. Man, he fresh, stunning everybody, man. Thanks to everybody. Rod for nine, Flaugé, everybody. I can't thank y'all enough. My family, everybody, mm -hmm. man. My staff, I'm nothing without them. My fans, y'all already know I ain't shit without you. Thailand, here I come. And I know what most of you guys are going to say in the comments. Chigs, where was this energy from Wayne when Kendrick was going at Drake? Wayne pretty much sat back and watched the whole industry clap him up. Now that it's your <laughs> turn to get a couple shots from Kendrick, this is when you want to respond, but don't... Yeah, no, I get that. I, 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 think, I, I think there's something with Wayne and Kendrick. I mean, Drake and Kendrick. I don't know if it's beef. I, I definitely do not think they're as close as they were back in Ransom. I definitely do not think it's a bedrock. Like, I don't think it's that there anymore. Something's going on with those two. It's pretty obvious. Don't get me wrong. I love it. Give that man Kendrick Lamar a warning telling him, bro, like, I really do this. I could really, really end your shit right now. Because we all know Kendrick is not going to take it well. I know he's got love for Wayne. Obviously, he's expressed too it in the music. Right now, but man. at this point, all gloves are off. Strategically? I think Kendrick got too much. Kendrick's like Super Saiyan, goddamn blue, right now. You gotta let, or he like a uh, the fusion. You gotta, I, I guess they retconned it, but the old school fusion. You gotta let that shit just time out. You gotta just let the heat kind of die off right now because you. We got, bro. Every business company and human being has typed mustard, bro. DreamWorks, McDonald's. The NFL, like everything. So it's just like, bro, this is, you got it. Not right it's now. It's time to it's get to the right shit, now. everybody. You guys get in the comments below. What do you guys think about Wayne? And I don't want. warning Kendrick Lamar. Hey, bro. And low key, low key, believe it or not, low key, Wayne, Wayne has had a career that's longer than Drake. So low key, Kendrick probably has more material or could get more material about someone like Wayne than he even did Drake. I'm dead serious. Because there's a lot of things that openly, right now, you watching this could probably go, yeah, Lil Wayne did do this head ass. There's been where it's like, dang, when, by the time Kendrick gets his hands on Wayne saying that racism wasn't real and makes that a whole, it's gonna, he gonna look crazy. He gonna look crazy. He gonna look crazy, bro. So it's just like, bro, do not and like Drake tried, Drake was trying to give out Bitcoin for info. Clearly there's just, I fuck with me right now. I could really kill shit. Post your comments. But I'm here below. for it. And I love the win in the 1v1. I love the energy. I really did not think Wayne would respond. Like being a lifelong or, or like his whole career, but yeah, basically my whole life, long Lil Wayne fan. I did not think that he, he would respond like this, but let's get it. If it if it's if it's time for hey, hip hop is a sport, ladies and gentlemen. Huh? And if we about to have another game, let me know, bro. <laughs> we have a watch party out here. Who you think got it though, Kendrick or Wayne? I, you know, I got Kendrick right now. Like if I had, why, like I only the only evidence I have is Kendrick. I believe in Wayne. Like I said, maybe too much because he's one of my favorites. But I believe if a nigga really was like, nah, I'm not hitting him with the ghoulish. I'm not hitting him with the Willie the Squid. I'm, I'm not calling him uh, Kenny the Squid. I'm going to dissect this nigga. And I ain't gonna lie to you when it comes to punch for punch. And if we're just going to do a punch for punch then gun bar, hey, Wayne going to, mm, Wayne going to need to play his, going to need to take Kendrick down and make him play his game. Because if he tries to play Kendrick's game of the breaking down and the analysis, I don't think it's going to work the same way. I just don't. But we'll see.